Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. Now, a topic I recently raised with my website members was the issue of security. Now, let me put it this way. As a woodworker, maker, content creator, YouTube can provide you with an excellent platform to showcase products that you might have for sale, both locally and nationally. It also gives you the opportunity to demonstrate how you go about making those products with the tools you use in your workshop. The worst thing about YouTube is it showcases your workshop, if you know what I mean. Around 18 months ago, I teamed up with a company called Reolink who provide security solutions for the household and they sent me one of the cameras which I installed on the back of the house along with a solar panel and the entire time it's been up there, I've never had to recharge the battery manually, shall we say. What I really liked about the product was how simple and easy it was to set up and install. From getting the app put onto my phone to getting it talking to the camera, it's a really straightforward process. And if you've watched my recent laser engraving video, you will know I'm not the most technically minded of folk. So anything that's easy in that department is fine by me. Well, I have teamed up with Real Link again, who have sent me a set of the brand new Argos 3 Pro security cameras. And this video is going to be showing you how simple it is to actually get these cameras set up and installed into the household. Now, before I even think about going unboxing this, what you need to be mindful of is they don't come with a micro SD card. So you need to get yourself out to the shop, buy yourself a micro SD card and then come back in. Now don't think as well you can just open it and get it installed on the same day because the first thing you're gonna to need to do once you're unboxing it like you can see now is to take the camera out and plug it into a charging source. Now it does come with a lead that is USB compatible, so you can plug it into the back of your computer, for example, to get it charged up, but it doesn't come with a power socket. Now, even if you do get the optional solar panel, Real Link recommends that you charge it up fully before you think about installing it. So I'm just gonna take this camera, get it plugged into the computer for a few hours, and I'll come back to you in a bit. So you know that the device is fully charged when you can see the green light on the back and the next step is to insert the micro SD card which can be found on the underside of the camera. Then you need to switch the camera on which can be found next to the micro SD card. Once you've done that you then need to go to the Rio Link app and press the add button in the top right hand corner and then scan the QR code on the back of the camera. Because this is the first time you've installed a Rio Link camera it will say that the Wi-Fi is not correctly configured so click on that button and then it will prompt you with this ping. And on the next page, it will ask you to identify your wireless network and enter the password for your Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, a QR code will appear and then you scan it in front of the camera. Camera is connecting to your router. Please wait. And then you're done. Once the connection has been established, it will ask you to create a password for the device, then give a name for the device, then select whether you want it to be an indoor or outdoor camera. There'll be a couple of warnings where and where not to place it. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much done. Right, the next stage is to mount your camera in its chosen location. And for demonstration purposes today, I'm going to be using this piece of OSB, but I'm going to be fixing the mount to it like I would be to a brick wall. Two reasons why I'm choosing to demonstrate it like this. One, it's absolutely awful weather out there today. And two, I don't want people knowing where I put the cameras. Anyway, moving on. Now, if you have joined the channel for the first time today, then welcome. And you might notice I work things slightly differently. That's because I've only got the use of one arm. So when I'm doing this, you might think that's a bit awkward, but it works really well. And particularly if you're high up a ladder when you're mounting a camera and you're also trying to hold on for dear life, then this method might actually work pretty well for you. So the first thing to do, once you've got the camera mount here, you also get a piece of paper, which gives you the screw hole fixing points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that to my wall with a little bit of CA glue.
and the next step will then be to drill the two holes. So once you've got your two holes, you can then use the raw plugs that uh, come with it and fit them in. And then the next step will be to remove the front part of the mount and then attach this piece to where it aligns with the holes. Now again, I'm going to use a little drop of CA glue. and then use a couple of screws to fix the mount to the wall. So good so far. Right, the next part is to attach the rest of the mount. So that includes the little ball and socket joint here and just screw that to fix it in place. And then, a little bit awkward for me this part, is to take the joint there and then just fix it on to the socket. And then tighten that up. and there you have your camera mounted. If you did go for the optional solar panel, and I would recommend this, the power input is at the back of the camera where it says USB and it slots in there and then has a little weatherproof cover that goes over the top and then you would mount it to the wall in the exact same method as I've just shown you here. And that's just about it for this one, folks. I hope it's given you a little bit of food for thought if you're thinking about security cameras for the home, garage, or even your workshop. And if you've made it this far to the end, can I please ask you to give the video a thumbs up and maybe even think about subscribing to the channel. There are a variety of ways in which you can support the channel and the links are in the description. There's also an affiliated link to Rio Link products. So if you click on that and purchase any Rio Link product, then a small commission will go to the channel. As ever, everyone, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.